through the archives over the last 10 years. As the story of the murder of Sherry Black unfolds. From her son-in-law, Greg Miller's pleas for the case to be solved. We want to make an arrest, we want a conviction, we want to bring closure to our life, and so uh, we, we just want to do everything we can to help the police in their effort. To the only evidence left behind, a belt and blood from the killer. We have the highest quality DNA. We have blood evidence. Uh, we believe he cut his hand. There's blood evidence left behind. Several attempts at finding her killer have been met with silence. DNA evidence came up short, and even a foundation was started to help solve cold cases in her name. Our hope is that by collaborating and bringing more experts into the effort that we'll be able to move the case forward. But her murder on November 30th, 2010 remained a mystery for 10 years. That was until Saturday. This morning we made an arrest in the Sherry Black cold case uh, and that individual was booked into jail uh, just a couple of hours ago. Salt Lake County Sheriff Rosie Rivera announcing the case had finally closed, ending in the arrest of this man, 29-year-old Alan DeBurro, who had been 19 at the time of the murder. The Miller family told police. They're very grateful at this time for law enforcement and the efforts uh, by all the agencies that were involved in this investigation. Many different officers, detectives, investigators, and teams from several different agencies have led this cold case over the years. All their efforts leading to today. To be able to come here today and say we've made an arrest. And for Sheriff Rivera, this was a great accomplishment. We're just so grateful that we have the ability to do these type of cases and follow them through. Right now, police aren't releasing a motive for DeBurro's alleged murder. But after 10 years, this case has finally come to a close. There's always somebody that knows something. And, you know, we want the families to know that we work these cases diligently. Now, we did mention before that this is all going to the DA's office. He is going to be screening charges now. All of that will be forthcoming in the next few weeks as he screens those charges and releases more information about this. Of course, we'll continue to follow this case as it develops. Live at Unified Police Headquarters, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.